everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Anastasia. I'm the marketing coordinator at Computer Talk. And today I'm joined by Byron, our VP Health Solution. And today we will be covering uh, the impact of automated messaging in the healthcare space and uncovering some of the trends that we're noticing. So Byron, how has automated messaging evolved over time? Well, speaking for Isolar, our automated messaging solution, um, over the last 10 years, the client's expectations of what the solution needs to have has changed. I mean, initially the focus was purely on reminders to reduce no-shows and save FTEs. So why is reducing no-shows so important? Well, when a patient doesn't show up, it's an issue. I mean, maybe they forgot their appointment and thus they're not getting the care they need, or maybe they just couldn't make it. Uh, and if the clinic had known, they could have filled in their spot. Um, I mean, overall, it's a waste of resources and time. Um, mm -hmm. Our clients have calculated that a no-show can cost over $300. And when you consider that a reminder can reduce no-shows by over 80%, mm -hmm. we can understand the value that reminders have. Right. So if reducing no-shows was the initial focus, what are healthcare providers focusing on now? Well, as reminders have become more ingrained in the day-to-day -day of the hospital, um, clinics and patients are relying on them more. So reminders are becoming are being considered a critical service. Um, so they're looking for solutions now that are more robust, scalable, secure, and can grow with their needs. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So how does Isolert address those concerns? Well, from the IT perspective, Computer Talk is a leader in hosted contact center solutions. Our customers include governments and banks, and thus we have to have certifications like SOC 2 and PCI. Isolert is able to leverage this infrastructure to provide our clients with a secure platform that undergoes third-party audits yearly, and uh, we can leverage the infrastructure to send out millions of notifications a day. Also, since Isolar is a SaaS, we update our solution multiple times a year. We're constantly improving our product, trying to close security gaps and add new features. Mm -hmm. Byron, that's, it's great that Isolert um, can meet hospitals' new IT requirements, uh, but how does that affect the patients exactly? Well, in today's landscape, um, it's not just on-site visits, it's virtual and te telephone appointments as well. So often, reminders are actually the face of the hospital. Um, we actually have a client that conducted a province-wide survey asking the population how they can best improve their health system. And believe it or not, the number one request was SMS reminders. With Isolate, we've kept track of growing trends. 10 years ago, hospitals only wanted to send out phone calls. Now they need to keep pace with the patient's lifestyle. Our product is constantly evolving, uh, which includes being able to send tailor-made messages and SMS reminders where the clinics can easily track patient responses. There's also an important need beyond reminders where hospitals need to communicate with their patients. They need to not just send reminders now, but also alert patients that they, that they do have an appointment. Uh, they often use reminders also to convey appointment preps that are very important. Otherwise, you know, if the patient's not ready, uh, they're not able to conduct that appointment correctly. Um, our, cl our clients have also used Isolert for sending out test results, vaccination campaigns, patient screenings and surveys. Awesome. So Byron, in your own words, uh, what do you think the future of automated messaging looks like? I know for us, we're trying to focus on providing a better patient experience. As reminders are becoming the face of the hospital, I think it's important that patients feel more comfortable with the hospital. Um, we're exploring AI technology where we want to give patient, a patients a more human experience. And as an example, imagine being able to send reminders to patients in a language in their own language that maybe even the hospital can't provide translators for. I mean, I think that's really a yeah. game changer. Exactly. I agree. Well, thank you so much, Byron, for taking the time to chat with me today about you know some of the trends that we're seeing in healthcare and how automated messaging is shaping the way that organizations communicate with patients. Thank you for having me.